Okay, so I was having a problem with my Creality CR-10S and I was getting an error on um, Octoprint from my computer. It was saying your printer's firmware reported an error. Due to that, Octoprint will disconnect. And it said reported error, heating failed, system stopped, heater underscore ID, bed, printer halted, kill called. And what I basically discovered was the print uh, print bed was not heating up. So I started by replacing the heat bed. So it came with an extra cable, new cable. Uh, replaced that, didn't work. Then I replaced the MOSFET um, along with some uh, the fans in my control box. And I even went so far as to replace the power supply. So there's a new one in there now. Nothing, uh, nothing worked. So I took some advice of some people online and I got out the old multimeter. And I wasn't sure about the continu continuity check. <clears throat> so some people had mentioned a continuity check. And I wasn't quite sure how to use that. Um, I know now because I looked it up on the internet, but at the time what I did was I uh, went to 12 volt and the control box was on, wasn't printing, right? So the MOSFET has, uh, three connections here. The far right one was going to the power supply. The middle one was going to the connector. And the far left one was going to the negative of the power supply. So when the, when the box wasn't, when the uh, printer wasn't printing, I set up the multimeter and I checked, I think I put a uh, hot on the voltage here and then I was basically going across testing and what I found was um, on the two on the two blacks so that would have been the middle and the far left one of these I can't remember which one it was but I had a voltage on one of them but not the other and then when I started a print and it was the machine was uh, telling the, the bed to heat up, I got a voltage on the one that I didn't before. And I think it was the middle, because the middle goes uh, to the heat bed. So when it was off, well, when, the, when it was not printing, I got a voltage on the left, nothing in the middle. And when I tried to print, so the heat bed was trying to heat up, I now had a voltage in the middle. All right, and that went directly to the four pin connector on the back of the control box. So it should have been going right from there to here and to the bed, but I wasn't getting a voltage at the bed. So I thought, well, there's gotta be a problem then something possibly with a connector, something along this line. So I'd gotten some new connectors. This was a Amazon uh, multi-pack. So you have everything from two pin, three pin, four pin, and even five pin. And I took a new, brand new four pin. And I kept, the only things I kept were the, the, the large wires, the hot and, uh, or the, the red and black that were going to, uh, let's see, it was, red was going up to the power supply and the black that was going to the MOSFET. So I kept those, I just uh, unsoldered them, as you can see, unsoldered them, soldered them on there. The other thing I wanted to replace was this wire, which I believe is the temperature probe or basically sends from the thermistor, thermistor, maybe not, but it was the temperature probe, right? 
and I want to replace the whole thing. So I got some JST connectors. So I got everything, you know, two pins on up. And I took some, I believe it was a 20 gauge wire. And I tell you, you got to have one of these crimpers. Otherwise, it would be really hard. <laughs> so I got that wired up, got some two new wires, soldered it on my new one, on my new uh, four pin connector. Put that in the control box, plugged it into the motherboard. Everything worked. <laughs> so I don't know if it was... I seriously doubt it was something in here. I would think that's just straight, you know, just a straight bar. I can't see why there would be a problem in there, but there may have been. I remember reading early on when I bought the printer that people were swapping these out because they said, you know, these are cheap, but I don't know what could go wrong, but we got a new one anyway. The problem was probably in here. And one of the questions I asked the people on the internet was, Basically, if, if the thing wasn't reporting correctly to the motherboard, the temperature sensor, would that keep the board from heating? Because I would think once you tell it to heat and the power supply starts to heat it, that this would get power regardless, but maybe not. Maybe the uh, sensor that comes back through uh, finds a fault and just says, no, nope, I'm not going to heat that up because I don't know what the temperature is. That's possible. I couldn't find any breaks in the line. You know, the connections are good. Uh, I tugged on this one. They were both good. But, so that's why I decided just replace, you know, obviously I'm replacing things as a, as a way to, to figure things out. Um, but it seemed to work. So I have uh, the printers now working. And really, the only thing I would suggest uh, starting with is uh, well once you do if you do the the 12 volt test and you get the same result where you have a voltage to one side when it's uh, not heating and then you tell the printer to heat up and you get the voltage on the second I would replace this this wire at least uh, might as well go ahead I mean these are pretty cheap I think they were like uh, what I say, there were aviation connectors were 20 bucks for this whole set. Uh, the JST connectors was eight bucks for this whole set. The crimper you can find pretty cheap. Um, Amazon has them for $16. I think I saw them on Harbor Freight for 15. So they're about the same price. Um, uh, obviously I did a little soldering though. I made sure, um, that when I had these uh, little connectors, uh, put a little solder in there, then I put the wire, soldered it, and then crimped just the end. Uh, you gotta be careful not to crimp the little part that basically keeps it in the JS, uh, the connector. See, there's a hole on this side, and there's a little bitty, it's really hard to see. I doubt the camera can see it. But there's a little elevated piece that basically clips in there and you don't want to get that caught in the crimper because that's the crimper is pretty big so you just want to crimp that that end and then once you have the wire in there and you push it in it should lock it in pretty good so i would suggest doing doing that first and then soldering it to this uh, that way, if you don't like your connection and you just toss this thing and you put another one, you're not constantly resoldering here or cutting your wire. But I think that's all I got. Um, I'm pretty happy it's it's running again. I've got some spare parts now to play with. Uh, I, I'd seen people do some heating bed changes. I'm not I'm not quite prepared to do that yet. As long as the thing's running right now, I would be happy with that. So before I go, I just want to mention that I do have a whole bunch of things up on Thingiverse now. Um, I've really gotten into creating stuff, mainly for my workbench. So I have been a printing fool. And here's a few things I've got, like my, uh, my sander for my sanding sticks. Uh, what else we got?
Uh, this was uh, I, this is like what I made for putty sticks. Put putty sticks in there, but all different kind of putties. Uh, these are all I just I just made them myself. I just wanted something to be a little bit better organized. I got uh, this one's for oil paints. Here's one for like, they take the little votive candle from uh, from the dollar store. It just sits in there. That's nice. Uh, this was, somebody else made this one. That wasn't mine. But I took the same idea because I had other, uh, the panel lines and more glue. And along that same vein, I had the uh, Mr. Surfacer. So I made a little one there and that fits nice. I printed some for my uh, paints, but most of those I printed, they were not my design, so I won't bother with that. Uh, get this out of the way. All right, another one for uh, different uh, washes. I think this is the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Um, oh, and my, uh, and the glues. Oh, and after I made these, I basically, that's how I originally made them. And I thought, you know what, what if somebody wants to put something else in there that's loose? Like for instance, uh, the little things like that. I just went ahead and made a bunch of little, uh, inserts. Uh, I had that, I don't know if you saw it, if you caught that, like on the putty, it was originally just this, and I thought, well, what if somebody wants to put oddball things in? So again, I just went through and I made a new insert, and so you can just make as many of those as you want. They'll drop right in. And I think I even, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I obviously started doing that to everything. So even the uh, the uh, the sandpaper. So even the uh, sandpaper, I had a little a little insert. And I think that's I think that's all I made for now for the workbench. So like I said, those are on Thingiverse under uh, X Ray Miller, and uh, enjoy.